What's up, people of the internet? This is Megasan Pika here, bringing you the newest thing that I'm going to do here. I noticed that a new uh, character trailer came out, so I said, eh, why not say something about it? I didn't say anything about the earlier ones, so, you know, better late than never, you know? Alright, so first we have our little edgelord, the tennis player, Ryoma Hoshi. Very deep voice, very edgy. I mean, what else is there to expect from him? Seems like he's going to die probably. Yeah, I don't know. Second, third, or fourth trial, I'm guessing. Next, we have the astronaut guy. Kaito Momoda. Is that... Is that... Is that how you pronounce his last name? Momoda? 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 Whatever. He makes funny faces. A lot of funny faces. He seems like he's the anger child of this game though. You know, we usually get a lot of people who have a lot of dirty mouths and are angered people. You know, first game we had Mondo, second game we had Fuyuhiko in this game, I'm gonna think we're gonna have him. He's also doing, always doing this weird pose where he has his fists connect with each other. What's that all about? Next, we have one of my favorite characters, basically, and mainly on because of their design. Himiko Yumeno. Yumeno. Maybe I should take my time trying to say these names. She's a magician. These are super high school level, right? Why well, should want to host Big Academy? Not why not just go to Hogwarts or something? Sadly, I can see her dying. Probably not in the first trial because we see her here in the first trial. It's amazing that I even like her because she has red hair, and one of the characters that I absolutely don't like in this series have red hair. Not saying any names, you know. You guys might like this character, but from what I'm seeing, Himiko seems to be a Quiet Sundere type? Yeah, that's cool, whatever. Let me go to another one of my favorite characters. Angie Yonaga. Yonaga. Man, I should really take my time with these. I should make note of that. What else is there to say about her? She's a pure child. She's an angel that's from heaven. And please keep this child alive. But seeing that she is the artist, I can see a lot, a lot of ways she can die. And every time we see her, she's just the purest child we've ever seen in the world. I mean, you just can't not just smile at her. Look at that cute, adorable little face. And last, we have the um, robot, robot Monokuma guy. He's supposed to look like a generic robot. Aren't Monokuma's robots anyway? Why are I making a robot of a robot? What? Not done yet, guys. I've actually gotten this news sometime after I recorded the first part. So this is like while I'm editing that I'm recording this. I went to Twitter and I found out that in Danganronpa 3, there, Danganronpa 1 and 2 characters will be playable in Danganronpa 3 on bonus modes. Apparently it's called Monokuma's Dungeon of Despair? Or maybe that's just what I'm seeing in the post. And for you guys who are lucky enough to have money for Japanese PS4s and PS Vitas, or have, or live in Japan, or whatever, Danganronpa 3's demo is out and available for you guys. So, have fun, you lucky bastards, you. But anyway, that's it for this part. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll see you then.